lovelies, apologies in advance if this is too bright. I don't know if I'll be able to fix it or not, but the camera is not cooperating, so we might have to deal with a slightly overexposed video. But that's okay, because I'm just answering questions. So, it is a Q&A. I got way too many to ever answer, as usual, but I am going to do my best to plough through them and see how many we can get done. So, let's not waste any more time, let's just go. You often talk about how you have certain things that you completely obsess over and then move on, but never leave and you come back. Uh, so things like Harry Potter, vampires, etc. Can you name all of them? I can't name all of them, but I can name some. And like they come in sets, so it won't be like I'll be obsessed with one thing. It's like it'll be a whole set of things. I'll have like a way to dress for that obsession, a music I listen to, sometimes a food I eat, like things that I watch. It's ridiculous. I don't know why, but I just move in these like very heightened periods of interest. So like you know, with vampire things, I will just like you know watch a lot of vampire movies. I'll dress very vampirish with Harry Potter. Obviously, I watch a lot of Harry Potter. I listen to a lot more sort of magical music. I want to eat like cooks, cooks, cookies and like candy and stuff because it always makes me think of that first Harry Potter movie and st stuff and uh, and then like in the later ones with honey dukes and stuff. For some reason, just like sweets and stuff remind me of Harry Potter. Um, I have phases of liking like really really fancy lingerie and like old Hollywood glamour so I like to watch like old black and white movies and stuff and like wear fancy lingerie and all I want to eat is like fancy chocolates and macarons in bed. Um, so things like that yeah I will have and like right now my kind of obsession is like kind of like witchy strega fashion which I don't know how far that phrase has strayed outside of Tumblr but yeah it's basically just like sort of Fashion that reminds me of a witch, so I just want to look like a witch who lives in the woods, basically. Uh, so that's what I'm going through right now, and then obviously I go through my Hufflepuff phases, which usually tie in with Harry Potter, and it's just, I have obsessions. Do you ever get annoyed when people put you in a box as a goth, almost as if you're not allowed to like other things or wear, wear other things, blah blah blah. Um, sorry, that's not a rude, but just like, etc, etc. Um, of course, like, I, that's, it's one of, the, one of the things that kind of keeps me, like, straying away from the term goth which I never really will but it, it does irk me like it's not the be all and end all of my life like I don't care if things aren't goth I don't care about being goth I don't care about seeming goth I use the word goth because it fits a certain you know set of interests I have it fits a, like a lot of the music I like not all of it but a good chunk of it it fits a lot of my fashion it fits a lot of my interests so I'll use the word goth but I'm not trying to be goth I don't care if I'm not doing goth things or I'm not goth enough it's just a word that's handy. So whenever people are like, oh, you can't do that, it's not goth, it's like, who fucking cares though? Not me. Uh, what was your first experience with another goth that drew you into the look slash subculture? Um, I think there was a girl in my school. She was like the first person I'd ever seen dressed in that way. She, like, she had the very pale makeup and like long black hair and black clothes and lipstick and stuff. I think that was my first experience where I was like, whoa, you know, like that's how I wanted to look. And then also, someone who's actually my friend now, whenever I was a kid, my dad's best friend had a daughter who was quite a bit older than me. Um, well, you know, like, the age difference doesn't seem as big now, but back then I was, like, so young that I could just barely remember it, where she must have been a teenager, I think. So, um, but she was, like, super into punk, so, like, half her head was shaved and the other half was, like, big green Liberty Spikes. That's all I really remember, but I remember just being like, whoa! And, uh, years later she moved in across the road from me and we ended up really good friends, so... So random. Uh, what festivals do you really want to visit? Festivals make me nervous. The whole idea of them, like there's ones I want to visit, but at the same time, like even thinking about them makes me tense. But I would really like to go to the likes of Wave Gothic Treffen. Gothic Treffen? Treffen? You know which one I mean, WGT. Um, it's one I've always wanted to go to, but as the years go on, I get more and more nervous around those kind of s just scenarios. So we'll see. Uh, if you could only keep one piercing, what would it be? That's a horrible question. I don't know. Probably my Medusa. I do really like that one. I don't know why. I've just always had a fondness for it, so I guess maybe that one, but I love them all. If you could combine two fantastical creatures to either be or have as a pet, what the, would they be and why? So like two animals in one? To have as a pet, like an owl and a bear or something mixed together, I think would be really cute. If you could play one game on VR, what it, would it be and why? Probably Outlast because that game is terrifying and I just think it would be an absolutely horrifying experience. Uh, how do you stay positive while being bombarded with negative comments? Um, oh, it's, I don't know. It's not always easy. Like, if it's just stupid things like, oh my god, you're ugly, kill yourself. Like, I don't, that just, like, it means nothing at this point. But it is more whenever people, like, really pick on you, like, in a more personal nature and stuff. And, like, people on YouTube are just awful. And it's not even just straight up hit. It's more, like... I don't know how to describe it. Basically, like, whenever people first find you on YouTube, you know, it's all just great and fun. Like, they just like your videos for your videos and that's it and everyone's really happy. But as they watch you more and more and more, they start to, like, they get this impression that because they've watched a lot of your, your videos, they know you as a person. And it somehow qualifies them to, like, analyze you and criticize your personality and pick on things and be like, 
I think this about your personality so you should really do this and you should do that and like it really bugs me I want you guys to feel like I'm your friend I do because I feel like you're my friends but there is a limit there is you know a line that should not be crossed and whenever you start like thinking that you know me well enough to like pick up like just pick apart my personality and like psychoanalyze me and stuff and like that really gets me mad like that is a surefire way to make me not like you so it's things like that just like little nitpicky criticisms of just like things that people know nothing about it oh it's so annoying and like I said more personal hate and stuff and like going through this whole weight thing that I'm going through on the internet is hell like a while ago there's this whole thing happening on tumblr with someone who's like seemed to be hell bent on I don't know give me a mental bloody breakdown because like I, it's something I really struggle with and there's this whole big thing on tumblr and it was just it's a really hard thing to go through so publicly so you know there's benefits to youtube but there's definitely like the awful bits <laughs> Uh, would you and Jake ever plan on taking a holiday, holiday to Canada? I can't read today. Yes, we very much want to go to Canada because we want to see our friends. We want to go see um, Team Canada, FPV, and Bradley, and Trevin, and all our friends that we met at Power of Video because they were lovely, so I would very much like to go to Canada now. If you could cosplay as anyone, who would it be and why? Um, maybe like Lady Sylvanas, Windrunner from World of Warcraft, just because she's awesome, but I feel like her costume's very skimpy, so I wouldn't be comfortable, but you know, assuming I had like the bod and like some assurance that nothing would slip. <laughs> I think that would be awesome. What did you want to be while growing up? I wanted to be a vet for the longest time. I really wanted to be a vet because I wanted to work with animals and save animals. So like the whole way through my childhood, I was like, I'm gonna be a vet. And then I found out that you'd have to put animals down and that was the end of that dream. Uh, who's your favorite Disney villain? I don't like Disney villains as in actually like them. Like I know a lot of people like, you know, love Disney villains and like relate to them or whatever. I do not have that. I'm like, no, fuck villains. But in terms of favorite, just as being like a good villain, I think Frollo because he is like terrifying in a real way. Like Frollo is one of the darker Disney villains, I think, because it's so much more real and just horrifying. So what do you think of influencers who buy followers or lie about sponsored content? I don't, I don't want to be like too harsh because I don't want to upset anyone if they happen to do this but at the same time I have strong feelings so buying followers I I just I think it's really really sad I don't even I don't know why <laughs> like yeah okay so like there's a big number on your profile or whatever but like I, I can't imagine it making you feel good because you know that it's not real like it just seems really pathetic to me I don't know what the point is like having a lot of followers doesn't mean anything especially if they're not real if it's just like a weird number you've bought. I, I don't understand the understand the thought process. I think it's just really pathetic and sad. Because I feel like people think having a lot like, you know, a number that says they have a lot of followers will, will make them more likable or something. It doesn't. It's just I don't get it. I don't. As for lying about sponsored content, not cool. I understand if someone like forgets to say, like if, I feel like other people are more harsh. Like if someone forgets to say something sponsored and then someone asks them like, oh shit, yeah, sorry. Like that's fine, but I mean people who like actually lie about it, it's like no this wasn't sponsored or oh no I never do sponsored videos or whatever when they actually do, like that really drives me crazy. Plus it's very illegal I think. I'm pretty sure in most places, so yeah. Not a fan of either of those things basically. What do you usually do when you're not in a good mood? Um, like flop onto this bed dramatically and lie here and cry all day. I don't handle not being in a good mood well. Do you think that when a goth happens to be into Satanism, etc, they're ruining it for those who aren't? Um, almost like they're per perpetuating the stereotype. So yeah, like, well, I mean, like if we're gonna get into a debate about like, you know, what the public uses sit Satanism versus the actual religion stuff, I'm not gonna bother with that, but just in terms of gods, you're like, yeah, he'll sit and sit and oh my God, like Satan's my daddy and all of that. Like, I can't dictate what other people do, obviously, but like, as a personal gripe, yes, it drives me crazy because as you say, it does perpetuate the stereotype and I feel like they are ruining it for everyone else and I'm like, just, whenever I see it, I'm like, mm. <laughs> like it does really, really bug me, but as I say, it's not like I can dictate what other people do. I just feel like it makes it so much harder for like other young goths who are trying to get into it and their parents are like, no, because you're going to be a Satan worshiper and they're like, no, I'm not. And then they see that. It's like, Cassie, I told you. Yeah, personally, not a fan of it. Drives me kind of crazy. <laughs> Dre Renee says, any plans of coming to LA? Gosh, I don't know. I might be, I might be staying with someone really, really cool. Couldn't tell you, maybe at some point, hopefully this year. Uh, would you ever make your own makeup line? Um, give me a chance and yes, I've had like makeup palettes designed for like two years. It is something I would 100% dive at if I was given the chance. Have you seen the video of Loka the Pug who is also from Belfast? 
have. If I had a pound for every person who sent me that video of that bloody pug and that horribly catchy song, <laughs> I would be rich. Yes, I, I know Loka the Pug, who's, well, I don't know her. I've seen the video of Loka the Pug, who is also from Belfast. Uh, when you were a kid, what was your favorite thing to do? Uh, like, oh, like games you played, shows you watched and stuff like that. I used to love climbing trees. I used to like, um, I used to like, this is really weird, but like, holding little funerals for that, for like animals. Like if I found like a dead bird or something, I would like hold a funeral for it and like, you know, make a little grave for it and decorate it and there'd be like, so yeah, that was a thing that I did for some reason. Um, and like I had a big thing for like any sort of stuffed animals. So I was always playing like weird games with my stuffed animals, just like, you know, full of imagination. In terms of shows that I watched, I liked anything spooky. So I loved the likes of Scooby-Doo and stuff. Like that was one of my favorites from when I was really young and like anything Halloween themed and stuff. That was just like, where it was at. And of course, Disney. Uh, is there any golf in a budget websites you'd recommend? Yes, eBay. <laughs> eBay all the way. Like there are other little ones sprinkled around, like I do videos sometimes, but like seriously, the most basic thing that I can offer you is eBay. Just go and you search like black lace top, you know, layered black skirt, black frilly blouse, things like that. Just search something like that and you can like find loads of really cheap stuff. You have to like know that the quality isn't going to be amazing if you're paying like two pounds for a top, but you can put together some pretty decent outfits for really cheap that way. Uh, what is your biggest fashion regret? Um, I don't really have like fashion regrets. Like there's outfits I'd probably look back on and be like, oh, that wasn't a great choice, but I don't really regret it. Like I don't have anything where I'm like, oh no. I kind of like have pictures that I see and like everything wasn't that well put together or something. And I'm like, honey, no, but it's not like, you know, a big issue. And I don't have like one thing that stands out to me. Uh, would you ever go a drastic color, like silver or neon hair color? Um, I, I mean, if like if I could just click my fingers and that's the way it would be, then like, yeah, I would love to have like silver hair, white, or like really, really light cotton candy baby pink. But realistically, no, because my hair has been dyed black for years and years and years, and it's very stubborn with bleach and stuff, so I would fry my hair trying to do that, so it's just it's not happening. <laughs> Lots of questions like, do you plan on coming here? Do you plan on going there? Pretty much yes to all. Like, I'd love to go to the Netherlands. I went as a kid, but like, I'd love to go again. I am desperate to go to Japan. I want to go to Canada. There's lots of places in America I want to visit. I just want to travel as much as possible. It's just, it's so expensive. Uh, will you do more gothy tutorials? Yes, they are coming. I do have some planned. I'm looking around my room at the things I have planned, but yes, um, there will be tutorials again. I just, I need to, like I said, I've, I complain about it all the time, but there's no room in this house and it is a huge creativity killer and it's just a bad time. So that's all I'm going to do today so that this isn't super, super, super long. I hope you enjoyed it. I will do more in the future. I'm sorry if your question didn't get answered. Hopefully next time. Also watch my old Q&As in case it's already been answered. Uh, remember to like, comment and subscribe. Check out my Patreon because it's super helpful. The link is in the description. It's probably also on screen. It's really, really necessary for my survival. So go have a look. Remember to subscribe to my gaming channel. It's me and my boyfriend. We have two videos every single day right now and we stream three times a week on Twitch, which I'm about to go do, and you can come and talk to us in like real life time, which is really cool, and I can answer your questions and everything, and it's awesome. And I think that is everything. I'll see you next time. Bye, lovelies.